It gets Enterprise, a test shuttle that never flew into space. It's currently at the Smithsonian. But folks in Texas, home to the Johnson Space Center, never happy that New York got a shuttle when they didn't, are crying foul again. You bet we are, says Texas Representative Ted Poe. It is a bait and switch. Bait and switch? Well, let's rewind. May of 2010, before the shuttles were awarded. Here's what the Intrepid Museum's executive director told us we then. Actually, on the west end of our pier, we ha currently have the Concorde, and we would look to shift the placement of the Concorde and place the shuttle in that spot. But the plan now, construct a building, not on the end of the, but over here, on the other side of the busy highway, on land that's now a parking lot. Land they don't yet own, next to a car wash, bagel shop, and warehouses. Museum officials so willing to talk before they were selected wouldn't talk with us now. They issued a statement saying in part, while we continue to be in the planning stages, we remain on track with both our logistics and our fundraising. Poe, he's got plenty to say. Uh, New York, God bless them, they're a wonderful city, but they have no connection to the space program and certainly no connection to NASA. So why would the shuttle go to New York? It's like putting the Statue of Liberty in Omaha. Poe wants bidding for Enterprise reopened. NASA, on the other hand, is satisfied with Intrepid's new plan. I don't tell them how to suck eggs. You know, they gave us, they gave us a plan. They told us they would have the money. Uh, they gave us a schedule and everything. And as far as I know, they're, they're on, on schedule. And uh, so I, I, I trust them that they're going to deliver what they said. But Texans say they have the history. The first words uttered when man landed on the moon, not New York, but... Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.